Good morning. This is Thursday morning. It's another cold morning and I'm warming up the truck. We're getting ready to head to Interstate Park and it's where the border of Kentucky and Virginia, there's a park where it's the second largest canyon in the United States. So we're gonna go see that today. Um, but first, it's about a two and a half hour drive from this location near Hungry Mother State Park or at Un Hungry Mother State Park. It's gonna be a fun day. So everybody's just kind of waking up. I'm just waking up. We want to get an early start because it is gonna be a, a long, little bit longer drive and then we have to come all the way back for tonight. All right. Is everybody excited? Yellow something on your chin. I think it's butter. Okay, I have a lot of tabs on. So much excitement in here. Before we tighten this one, let's make sure we got everything in the back. <laughs> there we go. That's it? It goes in the back? All right. Close it out. Okay, Blake. Okay. <clears throat> Tighten that down, get him tight. Hello. Hello. It's chilly out today. It is chilly. Okay, you got it. That's good enough. <clears throat> Another adventure in the car. For that, I'm going to give you some vitamins this morning. <laughs> These are special vitamins. Here, take Vitamin. some vitamins. Vitamins. All right, we're ready to go. Mommy's gonna tell us where we're going today. We're we going to there. Breaks Interstate Park, Interstate because it's on the border of Kentucky and Virginia, to go see, they call it the Grand Canyon of the South, which is the second biggest canyon in the United States after the Grand Canyon. More like the Grand Canyon of the East because yes. the Grand Canyon is in the South. That's Lost. right. Well, <laughs> that's what their website says. So I was just. Blake, reading. you need to make sure you correct them. All right. Okay. So Switchbacks in the mountains, and Gunner was in the back seat and started feeling real sick. Well, he pulled over and he jumped quickly, jumped out of the vehicle, and um, threw up a little bit. So now he's sitting in my seat eating my candy corn, and I'm in the back seat with Miranda with my legs up, cramped up against the back of the seat. This is my view now. All right, so we're at. We decided to make a stop since. We're driving the back of the dragon. We thought we'd come to the back of the dragon center. Let's go inside and check it out. Oh, do we need a mask? Yeah. We all gotta get a mask now. Couldn't find my cowboy mask somewhere in this one. Go ahead, mommy. Good morning. Right. Yeah. Walking around, I think I found a shirt for Uncle D. You'd probably like that. I'm not sure what I would wear in a guy. So. Miranda's dreaming of goodies. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good place to hang out right here. Well, I've never peed in a keg before. There's a lot of firsts on this trip. <laughs> that was a fun stop. Jump in the truck and continue the journey.
Finn Wolf. Wolf. Okay. Okay. Let's go cut some cold cheese. <laughs> For lunch, I'm making a cheese. Sandwich. <laughs> That's a lot of cheese. Cheese. Mm -hmm. Yep. Huh. White cheddar with white cheddar. Tasty. Cheddar Jack cheese crackers with sharp cheddar cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and Appa is eating nothing. Oh. I'm going to try one just to be a little more different. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Cheddar with white cheddar and cheese. That makes it a bit in more interesting. Windy up here. It is windy up here. I'm explaining how, how we're going to work. So the road obviously can't get too close to the canyon. So on the three places we're going to stop, we have to park at the top. And then we're going to do a teeny weeny walk down. So Gunner, for your information, the walk on this one is 0.15 miles. Okay, so it's over a tenth of a mile, but under two tenths. Basically, you, if you and trip, then, you've done the... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. So the next one will be 0.2. And the last one, she didn't say how far that was. Huh? So this is considered the southern end of the canyon. Let's go see it. Let's go. Oh, it's not very windy here at all. <laughs> I do want my yeah, I don't think they're letting around the zip line today. Because uh, of the wind. That's a long ways down, that's all I got to say. Watch how long it takes. I recommend we just stay on this place. Well, okay, <laughs> oh yeah, we just need to do that. Yeah, if you had a calm day. So you... as you can see, it is a canyon. Wow. Look, there's a great big peak in the middle. All right, well the hurricane stopped for a minute. <laughs> that wind was, that wind was crazy. It's just coming back. It's coming yeah. back. Going back for a that is really cool. Check that out. Look at these Alright, we're on our way now down to the tower tunnel. the tunnel overlook and just down there behind me about right there you'll see the tunnel or a train okay ready paper airplane go go well you'll never be no you'll never be an aeronautical engineer <laughs> did our did our airplane paper airplane well, it went straight, straight down it went straight down it didn't go out nope well, darn. Just a little bit. Like it went out over to like that red tree. Okay, now go down and pick up your trash. <laughs> Next trail. We're walking down this road. This girl just came up to me and asked me, he says, snake well, just bit her and it was brown. <laughs> and she was bleeding from it. <laughs> and said, what should she do? And... I had to wipe away. I really couldn't see snake bite holes, but I asked her, does it feel like a scratch or does it feel like it's throbbing? Or, oh, I said, does it feel like it's swelling? She says it feels like it's throbbing. So either case, I think I'd recommend if you get bit by a snake, you don't know what it is, you should be close to a hospital or have it looked at. What brown snakes do we know? Like rattlesnakes and copperheads? Well, mainly copperheads. If somebody said, I saw a brown snake, it's and it bit you, it's likely a copperhead, right? Oh, this is a beautiful view right here. Well, maybe we should have asked them if it was camouflage. This is the north end. Yeah. That sign over there tells us where the state line is. Mm -hmm. You can see how deep the canyon is. Our elevation is 1760 and the river is at 840. So that's over a thousand. This is 
Last trail. We're doing the chestnut. This one's a little bit longer hike, and I don't know what we're going to see as far as an overlook. Crosser blade. Yeah, right there. There's the engine right there. All right. Now we're looking at Laurel Lake. The yeah, they got Ooh, nice views. That'd be a nice right cabin to have. This little cabin, cabin rental right there. You look at it. Yeah. yeah, I like that cabin. Yeah, it's very pretty. Well, that wraps up Brakes Interstate Park for the day. Ooh, now it's time to head back down the mountain. And then up and around the crazy mountain. <laughs> I can do back of the dragon two times. Two times. Two times. And you got Anyways. a t-shirt for it. Been there, got the t-shirt. All right, say bye park. Bye, bye park. park. Bye wind. <laughs> oh, we just had to stop real quick and take a look at this really nice view out here. Isn't that nice? There we go. We can go. Well, we're back off the mountain. Mommy's happy to be off the mountain. <laughs> Mom, are you, ha are you happy to be down that? I am happy to be down the mountain, yes. <laughs> hairpin, all the hairpin. Yeah. How long did it take us to get, go 26 miles? I don't think we went the full 26. I think we're technically still five miles from Marion. Oh, so or is it that. four miles from Marion? So, so 21 we... miles. Yeah. An hour. An hour. <coughs> Pretty crazy. Yep. All right. So now, Blade and I are running to go get. You know, we're camping. We're going to get pizza, at pizza, because that's what we told the kids we get them. So, ready to get some pizza, Blade? Yeah. Well, then we have to get gas for the truck because tomorrow we're we pulling the camper. Pulling the camper to a new camp site, and uh, rather fill up when it's easy to fill up than yeah. have to pull a rig in there. Well, filling it up for tomorrow. All right, Blade and I are in Walmart now. Let's see if we can find something. Here's what I was looking for, a net. Blade's got to scan, scan again. All right, let me view this one. There you go. Oh, we got it. 
Mission complete. Look, he's pulling a full-size yeah. truck with that big camper. He's got the power to do it. Big diesel in that thing. Yep. Okay, now we gotta stop and pick up our pizza. Where's pizza at? Right there. Oh, it's hidden. Hi, Anna. I'm picking up. All right, we're picking up our pizza. Thank you, Blake. We have pizza. Yeah. Yeah, it's awful dark. Yeah. There we go. Now I can see something. Now I can see something. Yay. We have pizza! Yay. After a brief fist fight with the Pizza Hut. Oh no. <laughs> what? Why did we have a fist fight? No, we didn't. They charged like $21. They charged us 50 bucks. Yeah, all right. Who's who are we missing? Amanda. We're missing Come Miranda. Up, we got pizza and it is party time. Lay it down. Let's show it see these pizzas. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm um, set them on right here. Okay. And Can't then we'll start. Off. 